Damn! Dope ass Baja lights. And I got this cool ass Harley shirt that I got back in Mexico when I went a few years back. I haven't worn this in a while, but this shirt is awesome. Baja lights install. It was a headache. Let's get into it. to another video guys so originally I did have planned to do an install video on the Baja headlights but one thing led to another uh Raul was over my house last week you guys know Raul dirty you know the wedding singer come a come a come a come a come a chameleon <laughs> you come and go you, you come, come and go, go. <laughs> one thirty one pretty badass motor <laughs> wake me up before you go, go, what are the rest of these songs? I don't know, no. <laughs> Turn around every now and then I get a little bit lonely. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be the <laughs> is, is that really French? It, yeah, it does sound French. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we were here chopping it up. Um, we were waiting for Peanuts to come over. And in the meantime, I was like, you know what? Let me just start putting together the lights on the bracket. One thing led to another, within like 20 minutes, the whole bike was apart and it, yeah, we just put them on. So with that being said, I thought it might be a pretty good idea just to explain to you guys exactly how I did it because there's really no videos out there doing a tutorial on how to install these lights. Um, I searched for a few, I really couldn't find that many. Um, and if there was one or two, they weren't that descriptive. Um, me especially, I like to be very, very detailed when I do my install videos. Um, but I'll explain to you step by step what I did. It's really not that hard It's just more of a pain in the ass to take everything apart now with that being said uh, There might be one or two of my friends who are gonna be getting these lights in the coming months or so So if that happens, then I'll do an actual install video Especially now that I did mine. And I know exactly what to do. I think it might be much better to narrate everything that way, but for now I'll explain everything so First things first, um, the Baja lights. I gotta give a huge, huge, huge shout out to my boy Blake out in Cali, one of my subs. He reached out to me, he had them available. I was looking for these lights all over the place. As you know, they're on back order everywhere, so you really can get them. And if you aren't able to order them, there's like a six month wait for them. So, Blake, huge shout out to you, man. So I got the lights from him. Now, a few things you're gonna need in order to do the install. You're gonna need, obviously, the lights. You're gonna need the bracket, which Baja doesn't sell. Um, these third companies out here now are making these brackets for these bikes. So I got my bracket back when I went to Laconia back in May from this company, NTS Customs. They had the lights available, they had the bracket and the wiring harness. All that crazy money on me to get the lights plus the bracket and everything else is, I mean, these, these things are pricey. You're looking at around, there's different prices out there anywhere from 1400 to 1600 to 1800 dollars with everything so it, it's a pretty pricey upgrade that you're going to be doing to your bike and when you really sit back you think about it it's like well i just paid that much money for lights yeah but it, it i mean it, it changes everything drastically look wise even even at nighttime man though it just illuminates everything in front of you like i really feel bad for the incoming traffic coming ahead of me because these things are bright as hell. So you're gonna need the Baja lights. You're gonna need a bracket. Now, whoever you get that bracket from, that company should sell uh, the wiring harness with it. So MTS did sell me the wiring harness with the bracket. So those are the three things you basically need. Now let's talk about the installation and taking everything apart. You're gonna have to take apart your fairing. You're gonna have to take apart your gas tank. And then once you take off your gas tank, there's gonna be this plastic cover that runs down the frame of the bike, you pop that up. Um, once you pop that up, there's gonna be a bunch of wires that are gonna run through the bike. That's where all the wiring is at for the bike. Um, all those wires head down right into where the battery's at. So at that point, you got everything off the bike. What you need to do now is go ahead and take off, uh, unscrew the stock headlight that's in the front. A few screws on there, comes off right away. Now, the wiring harness is gonna have two plugs um, one is gonna go to the amber one, one is gonna go to the white light. Those get plugged into there. You're gonna have to feed the wiring harness right through the 
the inside right here where you see most of the wires going through. So you might have to play a little and kind of wiggle it in there somewhere. Um, what we did is that we got a, a flathead screwdriver and kind of pushed it in there. Uh, Raul was pushing the wire. I was pulling the wire from the end of the side. So after we fed it through, we ran the wire down the frame where all the wires are at in that plastic casing. And there's going to be a negative and a positive, which you're going to have to connect to your battery. So you have to take the battery apart, put those in there, screw that back on. And that's basically the wiring. So the wiring goes from the battery, negative and a positive, goes up the frame. Um, there's going to be two plugs. You connect one to here, one to here, and then one uh, main plug that connects it to the main bike, which the stock one comes with as well. So that plugs into there. Um, and that's pretty much it. As far as fitment, everything fits really good. Um, no issues there. It's really not that hard. It's just more of a pain in the ass because you got to take everything apart. And it took us around two hours. And the reason it took us that long is because I, I've never seen it done. I, we literally learned on the job. So, and like I tell you guys all the time, I'm nowhere near a mechanic. I'm just okay with my hands and I like to take things apart and put them back together. So trust me, if I could do it, you definitely could do it at home. It's really not that hard. It's just a bit messy. It takes time, but with the help of a buddy, a few cold ones, jamming out in your garage, you'll be on your way. Um, like I said before, I have a buddy or two of mine that are going to be ordering the lights soon. So as soon as they order theirs, I will be doing an actual install video because I want to do it for them. Um, help them out with that. And obviously, I want to show you guys the actual setup and the install. That way, you guys out there could have an easier time than me and it'll be much, much quicker. I'm pretty sure you can knock this out within an hour and 20 minutes, if anything, if you're... If if you really seen someone do it that's actually the low beam right there that's high beam so as you can see really really bright it changes the whole look of the bike it just transforms it into something else and then for just visibility man it just opens everything up i'm gonna see if i get some footage in a few days or next week or so of me riding the nighttime just to show you guys a huge difference uh well i'll put another road glide by my side just to give you that look as opposed to this look as well so you guys can see a huge difference um but i, I absolutely love them this is a, a mod that i've been wanting to do for a past year or so it's very expensive i finally the reason i've been doing it before is because i really didn't want to spend that much money on lights that being said i am extremely happy with the whole setup now now if you want to see more content like this make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button that's going to notify you anytime i upload any type of new content there's more mods to come on the bike there's a lot more stuff group rides and discussion videos i have a ton of stuff planned coming in the next few months it's just content 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 coming so make sure to subscribe that's gonna be it like always let the force be with you ride safe enjoy the ride baby Peace.